Hi, my name is Licia. I'm a developer on the CRM team at Journey Team. And today I'm going to show you how to turn on the Teams integration inside of Dynamics 365. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. All right, to begin, we're going to make our way over into Sales Hub. Down here at the bottom, we're going to change our area to app settings. Go ahead and click on overview. We're going to scroll down to the area where it says teams, chat and channels, and we're going to hit manage. This is going to bring us to quite a few options, and right now I have all of my Microsoft Teams integration features off. Let's kind of go through and talk about each one that we're going to turn on. So the first one I'm going to turn on is the ability to link records in Dynamics 365 to a Teams channel. We're going to turn that on. We also have the option to turn on Enhanced Microsoft Teams integration, which really just allows us to pin records um, and to view team channels directly in Dynamics. I'm going to turn that on because why not? It's going to prompt us for permissions. We're going to say yes. I'm going to leave off turn off confidential labels because I believe in a little bit more transparency today. And this is the, of course, the breadwinner. We're going to turn on chats inside of Dynamics 365. When we turn that on, we have the option to turn it on for all D365 apps or selected few. I'm going to leave it as all today. Now, this is the cool feature. This is still in preview, but I'm going to admit I'm pretty excited about it. We now have the ability to go ahead and have chat show up in the timeline so you and i can have a chat in teams go back to a record and associate that chat to a record and see it in the timeline anyone can go in there and view this chat or contribute to it i'm going to turn this on right here is a list of all of the current tables that we have the d365 and teams integration on and all we have to do is hit save. Now this takes a few minutes. So what I have is a different environment where this is on already. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. Right now I'm on an account. It's called Media Labs. And once your Teams integration is on, you'll notice a little chat bubble. Well, two little chat bubbles right here off to the side. We can click that. And you can see all of your team's communications and a big beautiful button that says new connected chat. I'm going to go ahead and hit new connected chat. And let's say I want to talk to Johnny Depp today. And my message is going to say. Look at this new account. And out of the box, we have this really great feature where you can attach a view. I currently have a view that has the account name, the primary contact, and the city that this account is associated to. I'm going to go ahead and hit start chat. It's going to do its thing. We're going to get a beautiful little pop up window right here. And Johnny Depp will get notified in Teams and or Dynamics if he has his Dynamics open. I can add more people at any point. I can minimize this live my life, and if I come back to this record, let me do a refresh. In the timeline, once it loads, we will see this gorgeous little notification letting us know that a chat has been created regarding Media Demo Lab. I can open it back up, regardless if I ch started the chat or am part of the chat, and see chat history and or contribute. It's great, I love it. 
Again, my name is Licia. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to Journey Team. We would love to help you out with this feature or any other questions that you have.